All right, everybody, out here in my in garage, gonna get the rotisserie going. Got a brand new play field we just cut out from the CNC machine the other day, if you checked out the last video. Um, so you got the one big hole here for the staircase that I've got measured out. Anyway, we're gonna get it set up and prepped, ready to go, and then we're gonna see if we can get this bad boy mounted and in place. All right, here we go. We got the basic basic hardware for getting the play field into the cabinet right and in place. Now we need side rails. So these are just one and one eighth, maybe an inch, I think an inch and an eighth um, tall strands. It's just from the leftover wood from the cut of these um, play fields from the four by eight sheet we had at Home Depot. And we're just gonna go through and line these up. The way I'm lining them up, I've got this piece, maybe we'll do this first. This is the piece that's gonna go at the very back of the play field, okay? It's gonna go in between these two rails. We can put these on. This is just gonna slide in between in the back. Again, you'll see why it's cut out in an upcoming video. It's a crazy idea for an upper play field. We'll see if it actually works or not. Sure how well you can see underneath my underneath my workbench, but I've got my compressor and other tools shoved in that shelf underneath, so it just plugs right into the bench. And for prototyping, we just need to stay in place. We're gonna be yanking it off, doing another play field, putting them back on. So I'm using some finished nails, nothing else, just enough to hold it in place, and we can still then yank it off later and redo it. So you might have noticed there's some lines here. I've done this a couple of times already in this piece of wood, so it's already got some marks from being shot before, but it's all good. Using little screws going to the end of this piece for now. Now I kind of pre drilled, I pre drilled on this piece of wood. All right, because I've used it before also, and I've got my pencil marks so I know where the holes are. So I should be able to go in pretty easily without causing too much trouble. Got a basic rails. Ready to start putting on some more fun stuff. Bling! There we go. All right. So now, the uh, staircase. All right. So we got our play field, the updated play field cut out up there now. You saw that with the flippers, our slingshots, the rails all ready to go. So now we got to get our staircase put together. So. These are just the steps by themselves. Let me show you how I've got them going together here of my overhead view. So I've got, I went through an Alibaba and bought these. These are RC car um, axles, 
They're just thin little steel rods. Um, and they work great as far as being what I'm having to use here to kind of serve as um, that hinge point on the stairs. And they're nice and tight, as you can see. <laughs> Okay, then I can use one to, to push through the other, all right? Until I can eventually then pull it out. I've got to go through that now. Okay, there we go. Now from this, you can see hopefully here inside, if not, I'll give a close up over here. That is where the magnets need to slide into. Okay, so I've got to go through and separate out every one of these. <laughs> so we can open them up and put the magnets in because they are not in this current version of the stairs. And so we're just gonna go through and do this until we get them all, until we get them all out. So, time lapse. All right, there we go. Cut off 12 pieces. So now we have our magnets here. Very strong magnets. <laughs> and we just slide them right inside. Stop. Then we push an axle back through. Just like that. Now someone gave me this, made the comment about I should be going through and alternate, alternating these. So I don't magnetize my balls too much. And they're right. I just have to try to figure out how I'm keeping track of that. Oh, it pulled the magnet right out of it. That's going to be fun. All right, one. Repulsed. Attracted. It did it again. So one of the things I noticed pretty quickly going through when I had this set up the last time on my prototype play field was that we can go through and we can get one ball to come up and be caught right. But then another ball can be kicking around and come on, good example of this. It can end up getting stuck to that ball. And so we can have multiple balls stuck here. And it's like, all right, well, how do I avoid that? Now, it gets easily knocked off, but still during the middle of the game, you don't want a second ball there until you've had a chance to advance the staircase, all right? <laughs> what if every time a ball gets on the stairs, if we have optical sensors, okay, an optical switch here, so that when the ball does get in there, 
and this is hard without having the other gear on there but when the ball does get there that it breaks that that um, it trips that optical switch right and then we have a drop target in front pop up okay and lock that shot so another ball cannot get in there okay until the stairs have advanced up one and then once that switch is open again the drop target smart drop target gets lowered and then another ball can go in and take its place so that's what I'm thinking so with that I had you know bring you over here a little bit closer so I had in here this kind of set up as far as for the for the cutout for the stairs but now what I've gone through and done you can see those pencil lines that drawings in front I've got that center rectangle is the size of a drop target and then the two squares on either side are going to be for these little um, narrow stand-up targets okay then I'm going to put next to each side also with the drop target in between okay so that way my idea with the stand-up targets is that that's going to be how you advance the staircase hit those switches and it'll advance up you know one step up anyways that's the, that's the idea so we're gonna have optical sensors we're gonna have a drop target that's smart we'll look, raise and lower and then we're gonna have these two stand-ups on either side so I'm gonna need to cut out the wood a little bit to make room for those so we'll mess around with that here in just a second um, and then I want to go through and get this mounted so first we're gonna go through and cut this out and then we're gonna go through and mount these I don't have the right switches for this right now I have these have the have the mount on the front I need some to have the mount on the back those are on their way but we can get this and the drop target in place and get any other things tested while we're waiting for these switches to arrive just gonna take my little jigsaw do a couple of small quick rough cuts and then we'll file it out and hope it's not too ugly There. Obviously we're gonna come back through and we'll get this mapped out on our CNC so the CNC will make this cut for us next time. All right, back in you go. about that all right that goes there it's got clearance from the play field and now clearance from the steps they will not hit All right, it's a little bigger gap than I was expecting we'd have to have, but. And then trips the sensor, boop, locks the shot. Because otherwise, we get that. But then we can do this too. <laughs> Free ball stage. <laughs> and that. Why we want to make sure that's always up. <laughs> Need a stepper motor engaged. start multi-ball boom 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 all right guys I think that's gonna do it for today um, 
I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. We had a little more of a, of a space here. I had to back off that drop target more than what I you know, had anticipated for that, that little, the, for the spring there, but I think it's gonna be fine. I like how it's going. Obviously, we're gonna have to kind of maybe get creative with some plastics to kind of maybe protect the sides of the staircase, make sure balls aren't getting too kludgy. I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that works. Maybe that's just a way to get, get a bonus ball up there in your multi-ball, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. So the next step's gonna be going through and getting the metal ball guides all around this. And then we still have to install those optical sensors and then the two stand-up targets once those come in. But yeah, that's it for today. So yeah, I'm pleased with it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, share this with everybody else. Guys, I am like just overwhelmed and humbled by how many people have been making great comments and are just loving the videos. So I, I, thank you, it's exciting, it encourages me to keep going with it. Um, if you haven't started your own pinball machine, why not? Come on, you can be building your own. Follow along, please, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you so much everybody for subscribing. Um, until next time guys, we'll see you, bye-bye.